I don't, I'm so nervous. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Hello there. Uh, we interrupt your regular service to bring you February's really remarkable news. These are some feel good stories about people doing wonderful things uh, for their fellow human beings. And I am Rachel Hardy, your host for today. Uh, as the days get a little bit longer and vaccines have started to roll out around the world, we are starting to see um, some glimmers of hope that things might return to normal soon. <laughs> There's also other good in the world and these special businesses and people have made February all that more bearable this month. So let's get into it. In the first week of February, Nike rolled out its latest design, the Go Fly Ease hands-free sports shoe. Uh, the shoe is designed with accessibility in mind. So in 2012, Matthew Walzer, a US teenager with cerebral palsy, wrote to the sports brand asking them to keep ac accessibility in mind for their next shoe design, especially for people who struggle with laces. So uh, Nike actually invited him to collaborate on this specific Nike Fly Ease go hands free sports shoe in 2015 and the final product is now available this story of inclusivity gets our seal of approval well done nike and matthew walter <laughs> so meanwhile here in sunny south africa after a full start and worries about sourcing for the vaccine the johnson's and johnson covid 19 vaccinations were rolled out successfully across the country and obviously it's prioritizing health workers for now. This is really remarkable news. It's just one more step in the right direction and, and hopefully soon we can get back to normal. Uh, in a much colder part of the world, uh, two hearts of gold were uh, busy shoveling some snow in a hospital in Rhode Island. They're named Abby Meeker and Christian Stone who removed snow off more than 80 cars at Westerly Hospital. I was thinking, you know, they've been helping us a lot through this whole pandemic and I figured, why don't we help them? Said a 10-year-old Christian Stone. All day, every day, the nurses here deal with the pandemic like COVID and they want to get home from work. So we thought that we'd make life a tiny bit easier for them. Thank you, Abby Meeker and Christian Stone, for your hard work and your amazing effort. You are truly remarkable in our eyes. <laughs> um, then meanwhile, as Many in the UK and Europe patiently wait for pubs to reopen and the hustle and bustle to resume. Archaeologists in Egypt have discovered that 5,000 year old Egyptians were bottoms up at a mega brewery. <laughs> uh, unearthed at an ancient site of Abydos, one of the oldest discovered cities in ancient Egypt, it's been called the world's largest beer factory. And this is a discovery of quite significant magnitude and therefore definitely worth cheering on. <laughs> Lastly, we leave you with some words of affirmation. You are strong, you are smart, you are brave. <laughs> this is what the Ohio-based kindergarten teacher Monique Walters tells her little people every morning before they start class. They say it as a reminder of all the things that they are. Uh, it's important because adults are really stressed out during COVID and sometimes we forget that it's also stressful for our children and our students. So Monique is doing all she can to make sure that the kiddies are doing well. Thank you so much, Monique, for reminding us what we're capable of during these trying times. So remember, you are special. You can achieve anything. <laughs> That's all from the really remarkable news. Thank you so much. Cool. I laugh after everything that I say, which is... Ooh, something in my bathroom just broke. <laughs> I moved to Cape Town recently and the wind here is insane.